We were never in a situation where we did not have antibiotics, where we didn't have a new generation ready for the next challenges. Bacteria continue to mutate, but industry, if they stop, we are stagnant in what we have. Too many people are waiting too long for the medicines they need, facing serious diseases with no time to waste. That's why we'll continue to focus on bringing the most advanced medicines to people faster, efficient, and also with the highest standard. I founded Zylab in 2014 with a mission to bring innovative medicines to people in need around the world. We are doing everything in our power to get science out of the lab and into more lives with precision and persistence, never compromising on ethics or quality. Zylab is an innovative, global biopharmaceutical company that's focused on bringing best-in-class and first-in-class innovative medicines in oncology, neuroscience, autoimmune and infectious disease. We focus on diseases and stages of discovery, development, and commercialization where we can have the greatest impact. And we also partner when necessary to accelerate access to innovative medicines to patients who need them around the world. Novel treatment is the centerpiece of what we do. If your half-life of your drug is five hours before and now it's eight or 10 hours, it's not a substantial difference. But if you can give it maybe once a month because you figured it out how to do a suppressive treatment that does not require constant pill taking and compliance, you made a difference. But it's always driven by some kind of improvement that matters to the patient. Whatever we bring out, we change the guidelines for treatment, I have no doubt. With the latest scientific breakthroughs, for example, in AI technology and translational medicines, we created an innovative, lean and efficient research and development organization in both US and China, working together with, as a single integrated team and collaborating with leading academic institutions around the world, and also companies who have leading technologies in different fields. Over time, all the antibiotics become obsolete. Antimicrobial resistance is a fact of life for these bacteria. We have chosen certain programs in-house, like our antibiotic program against Acinetobacter. 200,000 plus cases in China every year, very commonly seen in ICU outbreaks. This is a differentiated treatment, it's bactericidal, it works, and it does address something that we need at this point in time, it's a medical need felt across the globe. But a need that other companies have neglected to pick up and to engage in. The World Health Organization has identified antimicrobial resistance as one of the top 10 threats to humankind. The last few years have shown the importance of global public health and the weaknesses within the system. Environmental Social Governance, or ESG, is a simple framework that allows us to communicate our commitments and progress on complex topics like access to healthcare, biodiversity, bioethics, to those who rely on us. As we grow, we want to lay the groundwork for future businesses to see what it's like to be a sustainable company and design it from the start. We realize, though, that sustainability is a continuous journey. And we are excited to accept the challenge that we can always do more to improve human health around the world. From the day our company was founded, we set out to be a responsible corporate citizen, embracing the highest human values. I'm very proud of the team of experienced industry veterans at Zylab driving our growth and I'm even prouder that we have achieved gender equity in leadership and pay at all levels of the organization. 57% of the workforce are women, and women hold 53.8% of all management positions. 
have been fortunate to work on several blockbuster medicines that had transformed lives from one continent to another. After more than 30 years in the biopharm industry, I have never been more excited about the opportunity for our industry and Zai Lab to help improve the lives of people around the globe.